Hello and welcome, Jody William here, back with another episode of Dungeons & Dragons Online Let's Play. I will tell you right off the bat, there will be no gameplay for this episode, after the leveling process, but I will have something to say about this account, the free-to-play account, and something that I did to make a change. So let's level up as a wizard first and get that out of the way. Let's see, we're taking level 17. Skills, we're going to put uh, balance, concentration, haggle, which is down here, jump, repair, and spellcraft. Again, the repair, I'm not necessarily sure what this is for. It does have something to do with uh, rust power, so I don't know. That's a thing. So. That's our skill points. Go to next. Uh, spell list. Level 9 spells we finally have access to. We have Energy Drain. We have Whale of the Banshee, which is huge. Uh, Meteor Swarm. So we get to che check two spells here, or select rather. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose Whale of the Banshee. And I'm going to choose... I want to say Energy Drain just because. But there's also Power Word Kill which would be good to take out single target mobs. Energy Drain, I'm not necessarily sure if we need because we do have the Innervation SLA here, which is not bad. But the only other thing I think I would take would be Power Word Kill and maybe Meteor Swarm in that order. Uh, let's see, Summon Monster, we can get a Hezro. Fire Elemental. Yeah, I think I'll just go with Energy Drain and Whale the Banshee. We'll call it good. So we get 6 hit points, 92 spell points, all of our skill points, and the two spells we chose, which are Energy Drain and Whale the Banshee, and we finish. Now, you'll see I only have one action point to spend, and there is a reason for that. Whoa, I'm running away. I can't perform that action. You stand right there for a minute. Oh, turn around. There we go. Okay, let's hit Control R. The reason I only have one action point is because I reset the Pale Master tree and I got rid of the pet. The reason why I was trailing the pet around with me along with the hireling, I was basically in fleshy mode, not in the uh, Pale Master shroud of the Wraith, and it wasn't very much fun. So I took. I reset the tree and took all these points here and I shoved them over here into this tree so that I would be able to cast some of the SLAs. Necrotic Touch, not so much, but the Necrotic Bolt and the Necrotic Blast, which you see I have here on number two and number three on my hot bar, and that just does a lot of damage for hit points, basically. and because I will have my death aura going, I'll get those hit points back. So I tried this out and it works really well. I was actually able to solo things uh, better without a hireling trying to heal me and things like that because the hirelings seem to be bugged worse than normal. So I, I just gave them the heave ho pretty much. So under enhancements, we were supposed to take uh, last level efficient heightening two, which is here, and the other intelligence. Let's see what my intelligence is. It's 35. So whenever I get another point, which I'll probably wait until the next leveling process and I'll have five points to spend, I will chuck two points here and two points there and still have that extra point. But that's what I did. That's the reason why my, my points are gone. I wanted to get through here get some some goodies that I could actually use. Now, let's go over gear really quickly. Uh, oh, I got a 600 uh, point bubble off of the silver roll today. Uh, my stuff down here is an absolute mess and I will fix that later because I was just trying some things out. Uh, I actually looted one of the Luminous Truth and had been using that to just add to the the melee, I guess, because I, I I don't know, I'm, I'm more of an upfront, bash things in the face kind of guy, I guess. 
So let's go over gear. We have the plus six intelligence goggles. We have the hat of wizardry. We have the knight forge gorget. Plus five resistance cloak. Plus six constitution belt. My my little pet of a ring of false life plus fifteen is getting more and more worn out, which is sad. I have the plus five strength gloves, feather falling boots, Katra's wit which gives me plus five to my charisma. And I have Spearbane still. Now this I got from an end reward, which was nice. I wanted to see if I could get any caster sticks, so I, I chose instead of my, let me show you really quickly, if you go to options and go to gameplay, you can choose this quest and rewards based on class. Now for a caster, you'll usually get a bunch of garbage, like wands and things that are useless. But uh, just on a lark, I clicked that for uh, a few quests just so I could see what I could get, and I managed to get that. So that was kind of nice. It's uh, it's helpful. Uh, reducing eight damage is, is never a bad thing. And I still have my Spear Block, and I still have my Death Block, which this is minimum level 12, I'm sure I can get something better. Spell Loadout at the moment is all the things we had before. Uh, I did do some swaps around. Um, I still have Fireball memorized, so I could put it on a hotbar someplace, but I chose to go with the Necrotic Bolt and the Necrotic Blast in my number two and three spots. So everything else is pretty much the same. I threw in Odalux Freezing Sphere and Chain Lightning because I just wanted to do something different, really. Um, I was finding out that throwing down a firewall and acid, and you know, that's that wor works great, you know, for a time, but after a while it just kind of got boring, so I decided to do something different. Let's see, what is this? Oh, it's a um, minimum level 18 Fire Lore and Combustion Club. So I'll be using that uh, later on. And this I now get to wear, which is nice. Uh, I will probably retire this little uh, Tazer's sight because I don't really need that. I'd like to wear this full time because this gives me nullification and void lore and magnetism and lightning lore in one item. So if I can redo some stuff around, I can actually get rid of this hat of wizardry. Let's see what this uh, this helm looks like on us here, real quick. Oh, that looks pretty frightening. Look at that. Yeah, that uh, the crown looks pretty imposing. Yes, I look like a Decepticon. I like that a lot. Hail Megatron! Decepticons forever! Or something like that. So, here we are out in Giant Hold. So, how in the world did this happen? Well, I'll tell you. Uh, I decided that as I was recording some some game gameplay for this character, I thought, you know what, I want something different to play because there's only so many times I can do the same quest or quest chain over and over again without just being bored, and I don't want that to come through in the videos. I want to be more energetic and have fun, and that's the thing I'm still working on, right? So rather than treat it as a drudgery job, basically. I wanted to have fun with it. So I decided, okay, I'm going to go and grind out some favor to get some turbine points. So I made a character on another server. Uh, it took me about two hours or so, and I got the 100 favor, and I got 25 turbine points. The first time I did this on the other servers, I got 125 turbine points for every 100 favor that I got. That's how I was able to purchase the Veil of Twilight and Devil Assault. So I got those, and they're remarkable, for sure, and I wouldn't change it, change the fact that I got those, but there is definitely a gap for free-to-play players between the levels of 13 and 17, so that's the reason why I wanted to, to get Giant Hold, but after I saw, okay, well, you're only going to get 25 turbine points for this two hours of work, that's 12 and a half cents per hour, and you can make more money than that going and collecting aluminum cans and turning them in. You could do. You could go through your your couches and find change. That would probably amount to the the purchase price of some turbine points. So 
that's the reason I did that. I have a wife and kids, I have a job, I have other videos that I would like to record, including this series, so I don't want to spend all my time grinding favor for turbine points when I can just purchase it. It does not mean that this is not going to be free to play uh, free to play classes or free to play builds anymore. It just means that this is going to give me the tools to more effectively and more quickly advance through the game to show off the highlights or highlight rather the, the pros and cons of a certain build. So I thought, you know what? Forget about it. I'm going to get some turbine points. So I went in and purchased the minimum pack here, which is for $8 at 600 points. Got those and purchased Giant Hold. Now, my account now is not free to play. It is premium. So first let me go over what I get and then I'll give you some more reasoning behind my, my choice. Free to play account normally gets two character slots. Now I have four. So both slots on this server are filled but now I have two more slots, so I can make up another character and try another build, record that, put it up for everybody's enjoyment, right? So that's helpful to me for the series. Additionally, excuse me, I had to cough. Additionally, in the auction house, a free-to-play account can only put up one auction at a time. Since I am now premium, I can put up 50 auctions at a time. I had like tons of stuff here that that yeah that I wanted to sell in the auction house I can only put one up at a time though so now I can put up 50 at a time so that might generate a little bit of extra platinum I see I have mail so that might be something that has been sold or it might be something that's been returned to me I don't know yet we'll find out another thing you get whenever you upgrade to a premium account is the gold cap each, I forget the formula exactly, and I really don't want to look it up because it's math and ain't nobody got time for that. Basically, it says for each level, you're, you can only carry a certain amount of platinum. Now that is done away with whenever you are a premium account. So now I have, I can carry on a, even a level one character, I can carry 4.2, whatever, whatever the maximum amount of plat is, I can carry that. So I don't have to worry whenever I'm questing and, and stuff that, oh yeah, I only have, I, I can't sell this stuff, so i got to keep it down here and try to sell it later. That's micromanagement, and it's a headache. So that's gone, which is really kind of nice. Um, other than that, it, there's not a lot of other benefits necessarily. There are a few, like, for example, um, normally on a free-to-play account, you are timed out if you're idle for 10 minutes, but now it's 20 minutes. Um, the buyback history used to be only 10, like if I accidentally sell something, oh, I need that back. They would only show like 10 items in that window, uh, but on a premium account, it shows 40. And according to the wiki, that's kind of bugged. It's only supposed to be 10, but it's still 40, just like VIP. So I don't know, maybe they changed it and they didn't tell anybody, I'm not sure. But the reason I did this is because I, I want to have fun with the game. I want that to come through in my videos. I want to be able to put out a video every week. And to do that, MMOs are a grind. So I need content. I need things to, to play. This does not mean that later in the future I'm going to be switching to VIP. I already have a VIP account. If I want to record something for VIP, for example, whenever Warlock comes out, I can record that with my VIP account. This is still going to be the same account, I just have access to Giant Hold now. So you can pretend if you like, if you don't like the idea, oh, well, he's sold out and he's buying turbine points, I don't want to spend any money on the game. If you don't want to spend money on the game, I, that's perfectly understandable. Because, you, one, you might not have it, two, you might not want to support turbine, which in turn supports, you know, Time Warner, Warner Brothers, whatever the hell they are. Right? So if you don't want to do that, that's fine. I get that. Whatever your reasoning is, that's that's fine. For me, though, it was worth it to do this. So that's why I purchased... I, I want to be able to make a fun series and be able to do some fun things. And if I'm not having fun, it's going to come across in the videos and you're going to say, well, this guy is just very, very boring. Well, it's not that I'm bored, it's just that I'm worn out because I've ran the same quest over and over and over and over again. And who needs that nonsense? Not me. So that's why I've got the giant hold pack now. I will still 
the series will still concentrate on free-to-play builds because even on a premium account, I don't get anything extra like Warforged or Half-Elf or anything like that, and I don't see myself buying any of that stuff, at least within like the next two years or something like that, if I'm still around doing this stuff. There's no reason for me to, to have all that. I think there's enough varied builds in the game using the core of elf, dwarf, halfling, and, and human to be able to make some decent uh, decent builds. So that's what I'll still be doing, is is using those core classes and races. Uh, I'll find a build online on ddo.com. Oh, that looks interesting. I'm going to try that out for a series. And that's what I'll do. Uh, this purchase of the Giant Hold Pack just gives me extra content to play, which is more funner. So that's going to be it for me. I'm going to run over here and see what in the world my mailbox has in store off camera because you can't see what I have in my mailbox. Anyway, that's going to be it for me for today. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, this is Dirty William reminding you to do the dirty work. <laughs>